And here we are for July. Well, it's huge. This is the energy vibration that's going to create a lot of change for a lot of people because we're in the vibration of death and transformation. We're also in the vibration of consolidation. We're in the vibration of clearing out everyone and everything that is no longer relevant to you, your life, and the journey that you are going to take going forward. Of course, we've got the sun in Cancer until the 23rd when it moves into Leo. So wherever you've got Cancer or Leo in your chart, it's like it's going to be activated by the energy of the sun. Now, Mercury is in Gemini right up until the 5th, and then on that date, it moves into Cancer, where it will stay until the 20th when it will go into Leo. So we've got a lot of a lot going on to do with communication up until the 5th. Then it's going to be a lot more of an emotional um, lot of energy that's going to be there. And then, of course, on the 20th, it goes into Leo. So wherever you've got Gemini, Cancer, Leo, just know that there's going to be a lot to do with communication that's going to be taking place in the areas of your chart where these signs fall. So then we have a look at our Venus. Now, Venus is in Gemini until the 18th when it moves into Cancer. So like a lot going on to do with relationship energy around Geminis. And then from the 18th on, it will then move itself into the Cancerian energy. So once again, we have a look here and we see wherever it is that we've got Gemini or Cancer in your chart, um, that that Venus energy to do with relationships is going to play a role in those areas of your chart. Then we see the energy to do with Mars, career energy direction in Aries up until the 5th when it moves into Taurus. So a lot going on, a lot of fire energy. Um, things can be sort of like explosive around this energy, around your career and around the direction of your life. But after the 5th, it's like we start to get sort of like heels in, digging the heels in energy around all of that. Um, very earth energy, so a lot to do with money and around around that career and the direction. So money's going to be playing a role around all of that. And again, where we've got Aries in the chart, where we've got Taurus in the chart, then we're going to see a lot of the Mars firing up vibration that's going to come into those areas. And then of course, Jupiter, gorgeous planet Jupiter is in the sign of Aries all month. So again, you've got that expansiveness. So from the fifth up until the fifth, you've got it to do with your career, but then you've also got the expansiveness energy around it as well. But that's going to stay all through the month. So wherever you have Aries in your chart, you've got a Jupiter energy that's going to be activating those areas for the whole of July. Our Saturn is still in Aquarius. So a lot of a lot of sort of like realization, a lot of um, like like waking up to things, but it also can be very very testing. Uranus is in um, in the Taurian energy still, so like around the Taurus, wherever Taurus is, sudden changes with the Taurian energy with the Uranus in there. You Taurian people are going to be looking at well, who do you want to be in the world now, and what is it that you want to do? Neptune is still in our Pisces. Um, um, which is like we've got to get grounded, right? We've got to get really grounded with that energy. And of course, Pluto is still in Capricorn. So we're still doing that huge, long journey of transformation. So again, where uh, Capricorn sits in your chart, it's like we've got the energy yet again of all of the transformation that's taking place. So now we're having a look at the cards and we're seeing what's going on with the cards. Now, I did um, sort of like pick up um, that there would be a, a underlying disruptive energy around the 4th of July for America. Now, we've got July, we've got people, right, you've got to stand your ground, don't take any rock from anybody, and especially when it's got to do with money. 
Um, look, I keep on saying this over and over and over and over again. Um, no matter what platform I'm on, that I'm being interviewed on, I come up with the same thing, which is listen to your intuition. People will go, how do I know if it's a gut feeling? Intuition, gut feeling. How do I know if it's a gut feeling or it's a fear? Easy, easy, easy. Gut feelings. Gut feelings do not make sense. Intuition does not make sense. Fears make sense. So like from, you know, from this point on, and I've been saying this for a few months now, intuition, gut feeling, intuition, gut feeling, listen to it because it's going to be your greatest guide. If you go into your head or left brain stuff, good luck with it. All right, so the month of July, we're going in new directions. There's going to be some um, some big emotional heartache uh, that is going to take place. Um, and I feel that this is going may have something to do with like exposure that's going to be taking place. Um, and it's going to throw people emotionally. Needing to look after yourself, step back take time out, nurture yourself during this month because your your energies need to be really, really spot on. And if you're listening to this, of course, it's through Esoteric Atlanta because that's the only place I place any... Um, uh, any of my predictions or anything else and ever my astrology and that each month now is going to be on Esoteric Atlanta only. So um, you've got to look after yourself. You really, really have to look after your energy because when things start to happen, it's like you're going to be needed. Now, of course, there are battles that are still going on, but I feel over the next eight weeks that there's going to be some breaking um, from the restrictions that have been around. Turning your back, walking away from people and situations that are no longer relevant is also showing up in the cards for July, as well as bringing in the energy vibration of death. Now, the death energy is showing up um, a lot around home energy, so changes of residence, um, changes of who is actually living in the home, who is based in the home is coming up. We also have for the month of July the shut up card, and shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up is basically saying that. It's like if people haven't got it by now, folks, they ain't going to get it. So this is supporting you guys to bring in a new way of thinking and a new way of communicating, which is strong. Now we do have the um, we do have the tower card coming up for July, so like things being struck, uh, whatever is not in like got really firm foundations underneath are going to be shattered. Um, a lot of cycles that are coming to an end. Uh, a lot of cycles coming to an end. Uh, but the thing is, it's about bringing in balance, right? So keeping yourself as grounded, as balanced as possible. Also for the month of July, we've got the card of the intuition, which is strong. And we also have the card that's saying things are starting to move. All right, so movement, movement is afoot. Things are starting to happen. So just keep an eye out, just keep an eye out and you will see it. And we know, right, we all know what how how it actually shows up yeah we'll see little things and we will go oh my god oh my god there's one oh my god here's another one yeah so just like over the month things are going to be showing up showing up showing up now whatever you do don't make a foolish move just sit back sit back and wait because the thing is, is that everything will fall into place, going through massive rebirth. So you guys are changing and over the top of it, it's got, um, we've got the card of Lucifer, the devil. All right. So it's like, like we've got it covered. It's all being covered, but they're just doing some cleaning up at this particular point in time. If you're interested in having your charts done, just go on to Tamara, T-E-Y-M-A-R-A.com. You need to allow two hours for your session. Uh, if you're doing it on Skype, um, I already take the first half an hour to set up all of your charts for you. But you get numerology, astrology, tarot, psychic, mediumship and your cards. All right, so have a great month and much love to you all. Bye.